Power cats, I think 2023 is the year of the power cat. So we've come across a couple. These are from the Silvercraft range. This is the 46 Lux. There's actually an inboard and an outboard version. We're just gonna run you through a quick walkthrough tour of the inboard version. It's quite interesting. Um, you know, it could be of interest to quite a few of you who are in the hot climates, wanna eat up some miles, wanna have that um, rough water capability and nice separate accommodation. So come with me, let's get straight into it. It's so easy here at the Dubai Boat Show because the show doesn't start till 3 p.m. So everyone's just still in bed and we get to, um, we get to see all the boats to ourselves and it actually goes until nine o'clock at night. So they just, they run a different program here compared to how we do it. So, welcome to the transit. There's, there is an amazing amount of space here. Um, I'll have to turn that VHF off in, in a second. So this is the inboard version. So we've got Volvo stern drives, we've got the joystick operation, we'll see that when we get inside. You can have this exactly the same hull as we see here, but like next door. So we can do the quad setup with the outboards. Uh, and that is the alternative. And there is a different layout because what they actually do on the outboard setup is they bring this seat forward. Um, I'm gonna turn that VHF off and then get straight into this, guys, because that's annoying me. Shut up, VHF. Power. Okay, so, um, but on this inboard version, we have that lounging seat set back further aft, which enables us to put this nice lunch table. And just look how much space we've got here. We've got uh, big storage lockers underneath the floor here. This is access into the engine bay. And in the outboard version, it's actually storage and then technical access. But we've got live bait tanks on both sides. We've got rod holders just along here. And you've got this lounge here where you are actually exposed under the sun and I'm sure you'd be able to do some poles uh, and some mesh shade if you wanted to protect this area if that was important to you. Um, but the actual solid fixed shade starts from here and then we're completely protected as we make our way through. More rod holders, couple of cleats on either side and the all important because we don't have a side door on this boat, um, wing station. So we do have it, this boat's not completed, so the wing station is actually not wired up yet, and it's not, it doesn't have its uh, a solid arm to fix it in place because they just had to get the boat here to the show. Um, but that's all important for a style like this because you do want to be able to come out here and operate the boat, bring it into the dock, and I think everyone would go for that. Um, storage, uh, storage bin under here, which could also double as an esky. Nice tabletop just here, um, but it also, Super cool Barbie area. Got a little sink there, plenty of storage under these two just here. And then going into the boat, we'll go around the decks after this, is via this sliding door. Now, another bit of a feature of the Gulf, um, they're not so into flow through like we are in Australia. They're happy to close the door and stay in the air conditioning because they get 55 degrees centigrade in summer, which is something crazy in Fahrenheit. Um, but perhaps for our market, we would maybe want to go for those pop-up glass windows like this and then have a concertina on this side or some other arrangement, maybe concertina all the way across just to one side, um, which might suit our climate a little bit more. So come on inside and here we go. So there's a couple of little cool features to, uh, to this saloon area. Firstly, it's very social, so we can get probably four to six people quite comfortably sitting around here with views over the water. We've got the little coffee table set up here. But if you're having a fishing weekend with your mates um, and you've got two extras, this actually doubles as a bed and it just pulls out like so, so it turns into a proper single. And when you're in social mode and you want somewhere to put your drink and you can't be bothered leaning over to the coffee table, just pull out the drink holder. <laughs> How good's that? Clever little idea, I thought that's neat. Same again on the other side. Storage up above, epic amounts of air conditioning like we see on all of these boats here in the Gulf, so that's great. And then into the middle of the boat just here is where we find our galley. So we've got two burner here on starboard. We've got single sink, nice black tapware there. We've got a little fiddles here for holding all your bits and pieces so they won't fall, uh, slide around. And a little bit of storage for coffees and teas microwave there, decent fridge, 
just here and small pantry storage just there quite a large amount of workspace just here and these fiddles are going to be useful as well let's just have a look here more pantry storage so suitable for a couple of days the helm it's pretty impressive i would like to have a drive of this boat you can tell it's designed for the golf because they've got the uh the uh uv just knock out here just to knock out some more of the sun that'll be good for northern australia as well um, look, everything you need, you know, a couple of displays just here. We've got our, um, all our monitoring systems, light switch panel, battery controls, um, autopilot. What have we got here? Shore power, engine operation, tankage, a couple of drink holders and a nice captain's chair. And I note that it is suspended. So that's pretty cool. I'd really need to take this boat for a drive to put it into perspective for you. And I notice we do have some opening ports, the small circular ones. Again, maybe for our climate, I would love to see the option of a glass sliding window like you see on say the Riviera 4600 Sport Yacht. That would be super cool. Uh, but I understand why they do it this way because air conditioning is the go. But come on straight down here and check out this accommodation because this is cool. Oh, so we've got this lovely bed. I've got my sunnies behind me here. I don't want to crush them. These are my new sunnies. That's the last thing I want to do. Um, so this is lovely. We've got an escape hatch here, which is also ventilation. Uh, and we have another opening window there. We've got three windows down the side. And we also have ledges here where you could put things and a little uh, bedside table here. I've got some air conditioning, I've got some power. And you just go up the three steps to get into bed. I don't know if there's any storage under the bed. I would say not because of the design of the hull, but we do have a little storage locker just there and a couple of ledges to put things. And if you just go up those stairs and I'll open this door for you, Blaine. Check out your own head and shower. So you're very private in this side of the boat. And then same again, straight away on the other side. So let's pop straight over there. So these also, I didn't point this out before, you are, you can close yourself off with these sliding companionway doors just here. So coming down on the port side and same again. So we have a matching cabin, decent sized bed, natural ventilation, the three windows once again, same again, and our toilet just here is a mirror image. So four people are gonna be really comfortable, but we do have the possibility for six, which is cool. So let's head out around the foredeck and have a look at the bow. Carbon pole just there. So we're going from the flexi teak up onto the fiberglass. Oodles of space up on the roof. I've got rod holders up on this one. You could do plenty with this. You've got a lot of usable workable space up here. I see they've got the Fleur set up, which is cool. And bucket loads of space up here. You know, I, I'd say this would appeal to a lot of fishos. Okay, come and have a look at this, Blaine. We've got decent amount of storage down here and we're gonna have a mirror image on the other side, I would say, um, but we'll open that up and have a look. Electric anchor windless, stainless anchor to Gao chain painted yellow. They all seem to do that here, painting it yellow. I don't know why. Um, yep, mirror image again and drained. And then let's have a look in here. Ooh, there's a toilet down here. Have a look at this. Who's gonna use that? I don't understand. That's random. Well, okay, if you don't wanna offend the guests, you can always go to the dunny up here if need be. That's unexpected. What are we gonna find in here? Is there gonna be people or something? Is, this, is there a dude sleeping? Hello? <laughs> nah. Okay, so we've got, um, wow, decent amount of storage. So that's, that's cool. Look, it's just something different. I could see a lot of power cats entering the market in 2023. This is just another option for you. Once again, the price point's gonna be amazing compared to what you can get built out of Australia or America. And um, hey, let me know what you think.